Hey, how you doing? Um, so I'm gonna make my uh, jambalaya that I do on the blacktop griddle today. Stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, so here's our ingredient rundown real fast. I got some of uh, the Blackstone Cajun seasoning. We got some andouille sausage. We got some shrimp. We got a little bit of red and green pepper diced up. We're gonna use jasmine rice, and then we're gonna use some heavy whipping cream. Um, so you want to kind of put them on the griddle as, you know, in the order that they would cook. So obviously out of everything here, the sausage takes the longest. So we're going to put down some oil over here and get the sausage started. And then over here, I'm going to put down the peppers because we want them to start breaking down. And then once both of these get pretty close, then we'll add the shrimp. This is pretty quick um, and it's fun. Feeds a lot of people. You can use all kinds of meat. You know, if you have any leftover chicken or anything kind of leftover. So we're gonna kind of spread these out the way they can start breaking down. I got the griddle on a medium low. And I got the sausage uh, cubed up, and we're going to give it a couple minutes. And then we'll put the shrimp on. Okay, so we're starting to get a nice char on the sausage and on the peppers. So now we're going to put the shrimp down, which doesn't take very long at all to cook. And then while this is cooking... I'm going to spread these out a little bit. Shrimp cooks very quickly. Um, we're going to go ahead and put some Cajun season in. Obviously, you know, the pink turn a little, the shrimp turn a little pink whenever they get done, so. Now we're going to put a little Cajun on the shrimp. All right. So shrimp's just about done. Um, so obviously we're still mixing it with the rice and stuff. So the next step is we're going to get the rice down. And then we're going to mix all this together. I use the Publix Jasmine rice. It works great on the griddle. Cajun on top of everything. And then this next part, we just kind of eye it. Then we're gonna use a heavy whipping cream. It'll create like a sauce. So I always just go just cover it like that, and then we'll mix it together. And then we'll add some more if need be. Is. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Just let it cook with the residual heat. All right, and there you go. You can see it. You got the peppers add a little bit of color. Got some nice char there on the some of the sausage. We got shrimp in there. You know, you could add chicken if you want to. So this is still pretty hot um, while it's cooling down. Um, so I appreciate you watching. Um, you know, from the time we put everything on the griddle to the time I pulled it and put it in the pan, it's 10 minutes. Uh, so super easy, quick, you know, you need to make a quick dinner and you got some meats and stuff left over. You can kind of throw anything you want in here. Um, you know, in the Cajun seasoning, you can add it more after to taste. You know, if you like it spicy, add a whole lot more. You can add some hot sauce in there. Um, I'll put all the ingredients I use down in the bottom. Uh, we end up using a uh, half of the whipping 
heavy whipping cream. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, and again, just please hit the subscribe button and I appreciate it. Now let's give this a shot. See if I can get some shrimp and some sausage and some rice. Woo! Man, that's the stuff. You can taste the spices, you can taste the peppers, that nice flavor to it, the sweetness of the peppers. Man, that is awesome. Anyways, give it a shot. We'll see you next time. Bye.